Para continuar en español, presione 2. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. For prescription refills, please contact your pharmacy first. If you are calling to schedule, reschedule, cancel an appointment, or for urgent care needs, please press 1. For, prescription, for primary care scheduling, please press 1. For urgent care needs, please press 2. <laughs> Urgent care. Can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if there's any chance that I can schedule an, an appointment to get my lung checked out. My wife has uh, told me, hey, it's time, young man. You need to go call the doctor and see what's up. Like My sons have both had an absolute nasty cough. My, uh, my You're oldest... Just looking to come into the walk-in clinic? Just walk in to be seen. Um, otherwise, if you have a primary care, I can transfer you over there. I, I do have a primary care. It's Dr. Heinzen. I would rather go deal with him and, uh, you know, okay. or, or, a nurse, or a nurse practitioner. Let me, yeah. Let me get you over to Eternal to see if they happen to have any openings in their department. Otherwise, um, you can just walk into the walk-in clinic. But let me, yeah, let me try internal medicine just to see if they can get you in today. Just a moment. Okay. Or, or I don't think I'm going to die this weekend. You know, I could probably, <laughs> it could probably be Monday. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. No problem. Thank you. Thank you for calling Extension Medical Group. Para continuar en español, presione 2. This sounds familiar. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. For prescription refills, please contact your pharmacy first. If you are calling to schedule, reschedule, cancel an appointment or for urgent care needs, please press 1. For prescription refills, for primary care scheduling, please press 1. For this call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. That's what I like to hear. This is being recorded so my wife knows I did it. Thank you for holding. My name is Tina. How may I help you? Hi, Tina. My name is Mr. Van Riken. I think you're the lady that I always talk to. I tried to get you some candy, some uh, peanut butter cups and Kit Kats. But anyway, that's beyond the point. Uh... My wife, God bless her, says it's time for me to come into the doctor. My kids have had this awful cough, and it's finally caught up with me. And I'm staring at this thing that I coughed up this morning, and it's moving around. It's just very nasty looking. So, uh, uh, I can help you with that. Can I, can you spell your last name for me, please? Yes, V A N R Y K E N. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. 10, 9, and I, I, that's all the further I want to go because I get embarrassed when I tell people how old I am. Is that enough? October the 9th, is that enough? Nope, I need Oh, 72, 72. I'm so old, Tina. I'm so old. All right, and can you verify your address and phone number? Yep, 654 McKinley. That's a Nina. And 920-558-3289. There used to be this thing called the phone book where people could look up my phone number. I don't think those exist anymore. It's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, I don't think they do either. Now, where do you work? You, you told me I think you worked at Mercy. Or, or no, was it St. Elizabeth in uh, Appleton? And I went there and tried to find you, and I could not yeah, find you. That's an Appleton. Okay, well, one of these days, I am going to get you that candy, I swear, Tina, because you're the most helpful soul on the Internet. <laughs> All right, and you normally see Dr. Hines. And I did. The last time I came in, I saw a nurse practitioner, and that worked out just fine. Like, Dr. Hines is a busy guy, um, but uh, my wife seems to think I'm going to need an anti antibiotic. Uh, I always see it's it's the place by Target. Is that on Kohler? That I'm not 
even sure. Oh, it's it, it, no, no, it's 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 it's, it's uh, in Oshkosh down uh, by Target. Um, I think it's on Kohler Street. I'm not sure, but that's where, well, well, I I went to where Doctor Heinzen was. And the, okay. yeah, I just went to the Dr. Heinzen area and, and the nurse practitioner saw me there. And how long did you say you had this cold? I have had this cough for, I would say it's going on three weeks now and it's, for a little bit it was getting better, but it is, it is definitely not getting better. Like the, the, the things that I spit up this morning aren't quite as gross as they were yesterday. If I would have took a picture of the stuff that came out of my lungs yesterday, it would have made a good horror movie. So, Do you ever, Remember that movie, The Blob? Uh, well, it's a movie about this, like, stuff from outer space that comes. It's like killer jello, and it comes and eats everything. That's kind of what it looks like. On Polar Street, my first available wouldn't be until Monday morning. Oh, that's fine. Like, I told my wife, I don't think I'm going to die this weekend, so Monday morning as early as possible probably would be the best. Nurse practitioner Jacqueline Robinson would have a 7.40 a.m. On, on Monday the 9th. Okay, that, that is really early. Can, 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 is there anything a little bit later than that? Because I might have to help get kids to school and all that. At and 9 o'clock. 9 is perfect. And that's on Monday. What day right. is Monday? The 9th? Yeah. Yes, Monday is September 9th at 9 o'clock. 9 and 9. All right. Hey, the 9th. Oh, my gosh. In September is the 9th month, is it not? So it's nine nine at nine. That's yep. that's like a golden birthday, except it's for lung cookies. <laughs> hey, you are so helpful. I hope, man, I hope that you enjoy your job, Tina, because you are so helpful. Every time I get sick, it's good because there's a chance I get to talk to you. How about that? Well, yeah, there you go. That's not a good thing, though, right? No, I'm supposed to be the healthy guy. Like, I, now this is the. You want to know the real reason I'm calling? Is because I went to the Y to swim my laps yesterday, right? And uh-huh. I was slow in the pool. I I was about ten percent slower than I normally am, and that's just not acceptable, Tina. I just can't. You know, I cannot be getting slower as I get older. So. That's the reason I'm going to the doctors because I can't swim as fast as I normally can. So, uh, are you one of those people that are at the Y four at four a.m. or five a.m. taking care of yourself? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. I can I can tell I can tell. Well, Tina, thank you so much. I will. Uh, can I have that doctor lady's name again? Jacqueline, was it? Sure, it is nurse practitioner Jacqueline Robinson. Robinson. Robinson Caruso. That's going to be easy to remember. And All what right. What insurance do you have? Uh, oh, what, what is it? Uh, my wife knows that question. Uh, Build a network? Yeah, I think it's Network Health. Does that sound right? I don't know if you can bring that up or not, but I, I think it's Network Health. We have. And then they do ask that you arrive 15 minutes prior. Please bring insurance card photo ID, a list of all medications you're currently taking, and any copay if insurance requires it. All right, and sounds good. Now, respiratory symptoms, they will require a mask to be worn in the clinic, and they have them available by the doors. Okay. If you need to cancel for any reason, they ask that you get, please give at least a 24-hour notice prior. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Nope, nope. I think I think we got everything covered, young lady. You are awesome, and my wife my wife is going to be very happy that I'm coming to see uh, the doc. So okay. I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you, and thank you for choosing Ascension. I hope you have a great weekend as well. I, I'm off to play some pickleball, but I don't know how well I'm going to do. I'm going to try my best. You have a great, great weekend. Well, good luck. Yep. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah.